Hey guys, Beauty here. Um, this is part two of um products I regret buying, and I cut it short because like I didn't have I don't want to make them long, and I didn't um I had to go do something, and um the sun kind of went down, and it's like already like six twenty. Um, the sun goes down early in Michigan. Um, another product I regret buying. Just, you know, going over the show is um clean finish foundation i do love this foundation don't get me wrong i i like it but oops someone messes me um but i got the shade darker than what i am i noticed when i was putting it on in my last video i'm probably gonna delete it it was so dark here, I'm going to do a swatch between the one I just got today, the one that is in my color, the one that is not in my color is 440 Natural Beige, and the one that is my color is 330 Sand. I got them mixed up on accident. I'm going to show you the one that is not my color on this hand, the one is my color on this hand. So, taking the spatula out. Watching that on my hand. I'm probably gonna save this one for the summertime because I do get around this color and darker. But normally in the springtime, I would get about this color. Spring, summer, whatever. You know, just blending it in. And um, this does. It's meant to oxidize, so it might look lighter. But once you put it on, it's pretty dark. You see how dark that is. Um, let me see what this kid wants. <laughs> oh, that's not what that it was. Okay, go away. I just told him to go away. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the one that is not my color. As you can see, if you see it in the vial, get a shade at least two shades lighter because it will like, um, it's meant to oxidize to match your skin. I know it sounds crazy. Um, this one actually doesn't, it kind of just looks the same. And now I'm putting the color that is my color back on my hand. Well, I'm not sure if it oxidizes, I just think it's the way the product is. Rubbing that in, blending it. And maybe it's because I got a default. Maybe it's because. This one's sand. My color. And this one is not. You could see the difference. You could see the outline. And that's why I regret buying this because this was not my color. Uh. I was really put down because it wasn't my color. I really thought it was. It's definitely lighter in the bottle than it is when you put it on. That's the thing. It looks lighter in the vial than it does on your skin. And that's the um, that's why I got so confused. Because normally I would be like a natural beige. I know the color of the foundation, so I don't really go by names. But this time I did my mistake. Um... I know I shouldn't have, but I did, and I regretted it, but it's very cheap. As you can see, it was $4.49. Just cover that. Oh, well, and my other foundation was $5, too, so in Texas, it's $5. Sorry, this hand's not painted yet. Um, I just forgot to do the part two. <laughs> I just realized, like, oh, I gotta do this. Oops. So I did this hand. Don't you really like it? I did this nail purple. I'm gonna take it off, though, and put this gray. This gray color is actually from Rimmel. And it's number 805 Gray Matter. On clearance for 50 cents, and I really like it. And this is the purple color, and this one's 650 Magnet. Magnese, Magtis, I don't know. It's supposed to dry really super fast, which I do like. Um, 
um, and that's why I regret um, buying this product. I do love the way it feels on your skin. It's pretty thick though. See how thick this is? Like it? It hardly even moves. But when you put it on your thin, it, when you put it on your skin, it melts and it just you blend it out. Looks perfect, flawless. And it says, "Look, 100% poreless." I do find that truthful. But although I do use a primer with it when I first tried it out, I did not use a primer with it, and I could see that my pores were shrunken. And they look, they didn't look like they were very much there, but I still saw them. But since I used my primer, they absolutely were not there. I used, um, for this foundation, I actually used my Instant Age Rewind on my face instead of on my eyes. So that's good. 330 is my color. So if you're around my skin tone or skin color, 330 Sand is your color. Do not get it mixed up with um, 440 Natural Beige. It will be really dark on you. I'm going to save this for the spring and summertime. Um, not all summer though, because I get extremely dark. I'm normally more of a caramel color. I had to get toasted ginger and um, color stay. I was like a toasted ginger in that and during the summertime. I was, I used half the vial and then last winter was brutal and that's why I'm so pale because I never got to get my color back in time and another product I regret buying is the overnight serum by Clearasol I do like this the only reason I don't like it is because when I put this or mix it with my lotion and put my foundation over it it makes my foundation crinkle crack and it you look when you go like this it gets grainy and it falls off kind of like you're exfoliating your skin the skin cells come off or like when you put glue in your hands and you start peeling it off it was like that and I didn't like it and I don't feel like it used to work and then I get my skin got attached to it it looks like that and it goes clear also it makes your skin very dry and I have normal skin once in a while I have these nasty breakouts they're not very big I just think they're nasty because I see them other people tend to not see them because my breakouts tend to be the same color as my skin anyways once in a while I'll get rosacea but it's it's not you know yeah, it takes a long time to rub it in. It, at first it looks nice and dewy, but then after like an hour, you get so dry. And that's the only reason why I regret buying this. Um, it doesn't even... It says it reduces size... Re, uh, here, let me just read it off the bottle. Helps visibly reduce redness and pimples size overnight. I don't believe the redness thing is true. I have like a little bit of redness right here while well, I put foundation on you probably don't even see it but it definitely did not take it away and I was very disappointed at first it did like the first couple weeks it did but I think my skin adapted to it I didn't even use it every day it's 2% silic acid acne medicine which what I thought would be really good but it didn't work and I'm very upset that I got it because I thought it was going to work so well and it says to um, use it daily which I did at first and I, I decided um, to just do it every other day because it was starting to get really harsh my skin was peeling it was, ugh, it was gross so yeah that's another product I regret buying um I think that's about it. I know like the other ones I got like four or five products in there, but honestly, there's not much more I can talk about. I was uh oh. I think my sister forgot her tag. She worked at Buddy's Pizza. 
But anyways, yeah. That's all I could talk about right now. I did have some other stuff, but I kind of... I don't have it with me. So that's the end of this video. Hope that you find that helpful. Um, it's just... I was really disappointed that this was not my color. It looks different in the vial than it does. See how in the vial it looks... It, it looks light, but once you put it on, blend it in, it's not right at all. And I feel like they wanted to go pump with this, but the product is so thick that they couldn't. So, I feel like that is why it's they had that spatula. And it helps. It really, really helps. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Alright, the end of this video, uh, I'm really hungry, hopefully there's some food left over for me, um, so yeah, hopefully you find this guy, I mean, hope you guys found this helpful, ugh, and then, uh, yeah.